I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand and practice decision making through the Charleston. This is important because the Charleston is half the game. If you can master the Charleston, you can optimize your potential to win. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll start as the dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles. Then we'll do 13 tiles and then back to 14. I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, pair of flowers, north and east, white dragon, one seven in bams, seven eight nine in cracks, two three four in dots. The only multiple we have is this pair of flowers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the predominant pattern and play something that can use these flowers. We have seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three, four. We have two, three, four, and a matching dragon. So I would say that's the predominant pattern. It's really just one more tile. I think either way, either this would work or this would work. We can pass those, not together though. I think I would go ahead and go with the little numbers. And that way too, we don't have to pass the white dragon, which is a risky tile to pass because it's a dual tile. You can use it as a zero or a matching dragon to dots or even an offsuit dragon hand. So let's pass north, seven, and the nine for our first pass. We got a three, that's our first multiple. So keep it, here's a three, that's in our range of four numbers, now around the multiple, and we have tiles we can pass. It's a little bit risky, we could do maybe six, eight east, but because of this three, I think I would let this one go and make that a little bit better, one eight east. I think that's probably the best pass you can do. A little odd, big even, and a wind. Some variation of that. So there's a two, that would be a keeper for two, three. Here's a seven and a west. So let's pass those three. We don't have to drill into this yet because we have discards. White dragon. Now, two sixes. We need to let something go here. This three, three, six, six, seven, two, three, four dragon. That's really close to that consecutive hand. Second from the bottom. So let's pass these three. No keepers, which is fine by me, actually. So we have four, five, four, six. I think it's equally as risky. Let's pass these three. Ooh. No keepers. How about seven, four. That's not too bad. We got a keeper. 
And we have tiles we can pass for the optional cross. Two, three, four, dragon. Our hand is actually set. We could Kong, Pung, Pung. This could even be a pure hand. Let's pass three. No keepers. So we have two, three, four dragon, second hand from the bottom under consecutive run with three discards. And we would start by discarding, let's say the one. So we would have two discards towards a, a complete hand. That was a really good Charleston. If you can get to four discards or less, you have a pretty good chance of winning that hand. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull one in the video description below and let us know what you would have done with these tiles. We have a flower, green, white, west, singles, seven, eight in dots, three, seven, eight in cracks, one, five, seven in bams with a pair of ones. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? We have a multiple in here with the one bam pair. We also have seven, eight, seven, eight, seven. We could play like numbers or something consecutive. Just to show you that building around multiples is a good strategy. We're gonna build around that. With the one, we could maybe do something with dragons. We could maybe do something with a three little odds, or maybe even consecutive run. Let's keep the five, because there could be a little odd hand in there. So these would be the tiles we'd pass, and we're focused on the ones. So we're going to let the west go, and then a seven and an eight. We'll pass these three. We got a five, so if we play little odds, that might be helpful. Here's a nine crack. There is a concealed hand that uses one, three, five, seven, nine, and two suits. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's see, this even could work, but we're building around the one. So let's let that go. We're gonna stick with it. There's a flower and a one. So I would let the big numbers go. We have two multiples now and a pair of flowers. So we have one, five, five, one, three. We have to let something go. With this pair of flowers, we could maybe do something with like numbers and this is the right dragon. So let's discard the green dragon and see what happens. Three, two, red. We'll put these in suit. One, three, one, five, two, three, five. I'm thinking a little odd hand. So let's let the two go and the red. We could maybe still do like numbers with ones or even like numbers with fives. Here would be the like numbers with fives. We could do one, three, five. No, 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 it would be this one. One, oops. 
135 in mixed suits. So we'd have to break up the one. All right, now we have 135 flower mixed suit. Or we have like numbers with fives and a dragon. Or like numbers with ones and a dragon. I think what I would do here is probably break up the one, build around this five. Because the one five in one suit without a three bam and with a pair of flowers just don't really go together. So I think we have more options building around the most of our multiples, which would be the flowers and the fives. So let's pass these three. We got a one crack and a five crack. Here's one bam, three dot. Let's just reassess. So we have a pair of flowers, green, white, red, three five in dots, one five in bams with a pair of fives, one five in cracks with a pair of ones, pair of flowers. If we build around all the multiples, we could play one three five with flowers. I think I would hold an option. We have two fives with this five. So we wouldn't need the green because we have this five bam. So maybe let one of these go. Let's let the five dot go. Because if we get, let's say a red dragon, we could do fives and we wouldn't have to pass, let's see here, the white dragon, if we get the white dragon. Because the white dragon's a little more risky to pass. Let's pass these three. Three dot, that's a keeper. One, three, five. We did get a three. We'll just put these in order here. I would give up on the dragons. We're on our last right. We have one, three, five, all multiples. So I would let those go and build around these multiples. So let's let those go for last right. No keepers, which is fine. We have discards. I think instead of passing six, seven, I would probably let the dragon go. Oh my gosh, look what we got, a pair of green dragons. Oh, and we got a three. You know what we could do? We could play like numbers with threes and dragons. We're kind of in between, but I think this is stronger than like numbers at the moment. So we have two potential hands, like numbers with threes and dragons, or one, three, five with flowers. Two discards. I'd say that was a pretty good Charleston. It was looking a little sketchy as we were going along, but it turned out okay. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write what you would have done in the comment section below with pull two. We have a joker, northwest pairs, seven bam, one, three, four, eight in cracks, one, five, six in dots with a pair of ones. If these were your tiles, 
What would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd probably hoard wins or maybe see what happens with ones. We do have some potential for little odds. One, three, five. So I think I would start by discarding those. Four, six, seven, one of each suit. West and a one, ones. Ones don't really go with West like that. We have to make a choice. With number tiles, they're way more flexible than wins. So I would break up the wins. Pass a West. We could do like numbers with ones and news, and we only need one West. We need a East in here and a couple of Souths too. So here we have eight, nine, that's a little bit risky. Since we have pairs of ones, I think I would let the, the five go and see what happens there. Five, eight west. We're gonna focus on the ones. We got a three, one, three. Oh, there's a nine, another multiple. Let's stick it in there. I think I would let these winds go, at least the west. So here's one, three, nine, and then a pair of ones. Ones, news, maybe, pretty iffy. I think I would let the nines go. We did pick up the east. We almost have news with ones. And here we have four, six, nine. I would pass these. North, we really don't need it. We did get a flower. Here's a six. I would let the three go and probably the north. Although if we get a south, we could do news with flowers. I don't think I would do that though. And I wouldn't pass a pair. I would pass the north. We got a south. I would focus on ones with news. We have two tiles to pass. Here's a pair of flowers. If we gather in ones, we could sacrifice, I mean, if we gather in wins, we could sacrifice the ones. I think I would pass one blind. We're on last right. I would pass one blind. No keepers. So I would pass two in the optional cross. Two discards. So we could do either News with flowers. This would be the third hand down under Winds and Dragons, or we could do news with ones, which I think is stronger. We would just use these maybe for joker bait, although flowers do not make good joker bait. Since there are eight flowers, if somebody else at the table has a flower, they will likely get to the joker before you. If you wanna know more about that strategy, look in the video description below. There are lots of videos on joker bait. Basically, you hold a pair you don't need, and then in the middle game, you discard one, someone makes an exposure with a joker, you use the other one to make the exchange. But again, with flowers, since there are eight of them, the chances of somebody else getting to that joker before you are are pretty great, actually. During the Charleston, optimize your potential to win by building around multiples. Gather the tiles that come in through the passes and monitor the trends. If a new multiple forms, reassess and build around your multiples. If you have multiples that don't go together, build around the multiples that use most of your tiles. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. 
click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.